Hello, today I'll show you how to add enemies to the simple platformer in Scratch. As you can see, this is an enemy, and if you touch it, you respawn. And you can put it in any level. So let's get started. First, go to your platformer game and duplicate the level. Name it name it to enemy enemy space and in the costumes click the delete for all the levels make sure it's in enemy space and not the level but in the costumes and here in the code set ghost to 100 but make sure to not hide so add a show block now duplicate the player and name it enemy delete this these don't delete this one the rest delete as you can see now for this one, drag it out and delete these. Now, delete all the switch costumes and delete the the key right arrow and le left arrow and the set X. Now you have this. Scroll down and delete the up arrow and the other up arrow and delete these two. Now, when green flag clicked, create a new block. Name it Create Enemy. And then add an input called X, and then another input called Y, and then add a label called Level, and then an input called Level and then a label called size and then an input called size and lastly a label called speed and an input called speed and run without screen refresh now put it here and hide as you can see. Now in the costumes, delete this costume and this costume. So you have this costume. And make the color any color. Best to make it red. And make the outline thicker. Now, in here, drag it to where you want it to spawn. And then type in the X and the Y. Then set the level, which is 1, and set the size to anything, and the speed to anything too. Now, now in here, go to the X and the Y. Set the size to the size and set and then make a new variable named show at level for this sprite only and set show at level to level and set Xville to speed and lastly create a clone of myself now put this when I start as a clone here and do a forever here now point in direction 90 and set the rotation the rotation style to left and right and up here 
if if touching enemy enemy space and uh, if else if else direction is greater is less than zero so direction is less than zero point in direction 90 else point in direction negative 90 now in here do a if and then a if if show at level equals level then you will show and oh and also make sure this is a if else so now in the else it's hide oh yeah and also make sure to instead make this move 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 by x make sure it's a move by x move by x will oh yeah and also in enemy space go to level one and use the box tool make the fill white and make sure there's no outline and draw a box drag it to here as you can see and copy pastel it and drag it to here now if you test it as you can see it will work and if you go to the second level and go to enemy duplicate this and drag it and drag the enemy to where you want it to spawn and then set it to that to set the X and Y to where that is and change this to level 2 the size you can make the size difference and the speed difference in the enemy space do the same thing by dragging creating a box this time putting it here and putting it here now if you try and go to the other level as you can see it will work and to make the player respawn go to the player sprite and go to this script and just add a or touching enemy now if you test it as you can see you will respawn if you touch the enemy now you have enemies in your platformer game thank you for watching and have a fantastic day